What's up guys? Thank you so much for joining me today. Now today we are going to go ahead and do the fuel pump install. Uh, the last video we left off not quite knowing what's going on with the truck. I'm going to go with my gut and I think it's the fuel pump. She's got some miles on her. It's like 220,000 miles so it's probably either way it's going to be a good idea to swap it out. Um, I'll get to what I ordered later. Also, on the last video, I just want to uh, thank all of you guys that put comments below, just suggestions, and give me your input on everything. I really do appreciate that. Um, apparently, I upset a few people by asking for your guys' opinion. Um, I don't know, but either way, I just wanted to thank you guys, so let's go ahead and get into it. I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm going to go ahead and start by pulling the fuel pump fuse. So once the engine's died, go ahead and put the fuse back in. So the reason why I pulled the fuse is I'm hoping that that'll get a lot of the fuel out of the lines. It'll be less of a mess when we go to pull the pump. Um, I'm also going to disconnect the battery just for safety. Uh, so we're going to go back here. I'm going to undo the bed and then I'm going to try and slide it back, but I don't think I'm going to get enough room. You can't quite see in there with the tires on so I may have to take the tires off so I can slide the bed back uh, further. It's just me or I'd have a couple buddies go ahead and lift the bed off and uh, we could set it somewhere but as you guys can see is I don't have much room here anyway. So I'm going to get the bed undone and then we'll go from there. Alright boys we got the bed bolts out. I was going to record it but I just kind of got in there and started doing it. It's really not that big a deal. I was a little confused though because the one that we did on my buddy's truck years ago had eight bed bolts. This one only has six. So I'm a little, I think it's probably because I've got the short bed. That's probably the only reason why, but yeah, I have six bed bolts. Um, usually there's, like I said, there's eight. And then you've got these two bolts right here and then like a little, like it's a, like just basically a body clip right there. Just take a flathead and pop that out. So I'm going to go ahead and get that out and then we can get the bed moved. Well, like I thought, that's not going to work. You guys can kind of see the fuel pump back there. Um, there's just not enough room to get to it. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the tires and then we can scoot the bed back further. And then I also lied to you guys, uh, there is focus. There's two right here, then there's also a third screw up there. Um, I used an 18 millimeter for the bed bolts, a seven millimeter for the gas filler neck bolts, and then just a flat head. You will need an extension in a couple spots. Boys, we got the bed pushed back. Clears the caliper, it's not touching. Um, I did have a bit of an issue with these lowering shackles because they sit up so high. So I had to get this part of the bed up and over them. But other than that, it should just slide right back and give you a good, give you a good shot at the fuel pump. Um, I actually also found what looks like to be a street hockey puck. So this truck is made in Canada, so maybe this comes with every truck. I have no idea. And then a random screwdriver. But as you guys can see, there is a bunch of dirt all over the top of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean all that out and then we'll get to removing the pump. I got the pump all cleaned off. Um, there's a bit more surface rust than I would like, so we may just have to end up swapping out and getting a new housing anyway. But I got all the plugs disconnected. Um, I made sure and cleaned it all off really well with, a, with the air compressor. I got all these fittings removed, or at least pushed back. Um, I'll show you how those work here in a minute. I've just been having a problem with this one right here. It is seized, it was full of dirt, and then I, cleaned all that out and we've got a bunch of rust holding that on so I've got a, a WD-40 soaking in there hopefully that'll help release it I don't know why they used a metal fitting right there I think this is one of the only years that they did do it, it was 04 so yeah we're just gonna go ahead and let that soak and hope for the best alright guys so here we are about two weeks later about a week and a half or so just there's shipping endeavor I'll get to that here in a minute 
Also, I've let this sit here and soak. I just went ahead and moved the rags and everything. It's just, it's still solid. It's not even gonna kind of release. So good thing I went ahead and, well, I'll just show you guys. I went ahead and ordered an all new pump um, from Amazon. Uh, like I said, that was an endeavor. Every time I try it and order something from them, it just takes forever. Um, here's the pump that I was talking about earlier in the video. I'll go ahead and explain um, what this is here shortly. Uh, I'm going to take the cheap pump out of this housing because I really just need the housing. And then um, we'll just get into that here in a second. I also got new line. Hopefully this is the right line. It was a giant pain to try and find it. Um, it's this line here that goes to um, basically I think the the line that's here on the frame rail. I'll show you guys that here in a second too. If this ends up working, I'll go ahead and leave a, a link in the description below on where I got all this. I'll just go ahead and tell you guys what pump I got while I try and figure out what I'm supposed to do with this thing. Um, I went ahead and ordered a Walbro 450 from Quantum uh, Fuel Systems, I believe. They're great to work with. Uh, I'm not sponsored, but they were. I just wanted to do a shout out. They were great to work with. Um, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, I guess it's a TI Automotive fuel pump. They've owned Walbro for a long time, or since the beginning, and now they're just taking on that name. As far as the paperwork, that's, that's what that said. I don't know the history of all of that. Um, someone can fact check me if they want. Uh, so in the kit that I got, you get the fuel pump and then everything you need to do uh, to install it. it comes with the screen and everything. So I got the housing taken apart. Uh, it's really not that bad. You just push on these. Um, I just took a little flathead or even a little pick right here and pried it up from these little keepers right there. If we focus, that's about as good as we're going to get. So those little keepers right there, you just got to get that up and over and then it'll pull free. Now this little gasket down here will give you some trouble uh, coming out of that, but you just gotta pull it. Don't be too aggressive with it. Just kind of try and pull it at the same time as you pull this out. Um, I've got the fuel pump right here. This is the one that came in it. Uh, the only issue that I have found is this hose fitting right here. Drops down into there. That little piece right there and this is what came with the kit so as you can see these are a little bit different um but the fuel pump is a bit bigger now i already know this is going to be a good fuel pump i just want to show you guys the size comparison so what i'm going to do is go ahead and get the old pump out and see if there's any parts that i can pillage off of it uh to make this work Okay guys, so I've had the ring soaking in WD-40 for probably about a good half hour or so. Um, so now I should probably, I should be able to get it off. Um, I'm hoping that the WD-40 will lessen the likelihood of a spark. Now if that's actually true, I highly doubt it, but it almost makes sense. Um, if you are scared of a spark though, I would get yourself a uh, brass drift. That'll, that'll prevent any kind of spark. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and use a flathead. Oh, nice. Now I did not expect that to work that well. That kind of just came right off. Awesome. Now I just went ahead and cut the hose off of this piece right here. I don't know why I left that on in the first place, but this will make it a lot easier to get out. Now this will be full. Now this will be full of fuel, so be careful when you pull it out. Okay guys, so after getting the stock fuel pump out, I did realize that I am a little simple, uh, but at least I can admit it, right? So the part that I was overthinking was this piece right here, how it plugs in right there. Well, after looking at the stock one, it's exactly the same. I don't know why, I thought just maybe because it was cheap. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut right there, just cut that off, use this fitting on this hose right here. Now I'm sure that's what you're actually supposed to do. It just took me a little bit to get to that point. All right, so a bit has changed. Um, I was, I did try and use this that came with the kit. 
and it turns out I ended up having to cut it off. Um, you need to use a little bit of lube in there. I'm not sure what kind of lube. You may have to look that up. Um, I wasn't sure if you could just use WD-40 or whatever. Either way, I was pushing on it and it kinked and I got a little worried so I just cut it off and I thought somewhere in town might have it. No one has this piece in town and I can't pillage it off the old pump because they're like, I don't know, they're like press fit. So what I went and got was a one foot piece of fuel line, the rubber fuel line. Now I was just going to run it as one big piece. I came back and then it had too much of a kink in it and I don't want any kinks. So I went ahead and picked up a 90 right there. I don't know if you guys, there we go. I went and picked up a 90 fitting. I know it's kind of, it's a little janky looking, but it should work. Um, and then I did have to, let's see here. I did have to cut out the bottom and then I notched it right there. Let's see if we can get a good angle on it. I notched it right there for the screen. Um, as you can see, they come with a in, I don't know, in bucket screen. And I do believe that you will have fuel starvation issues if you try and use uh, the in bucket method with this Walbro. So I didn't want to risk it. I modified the bottom and this fits perfectly now. So all we gotta do is finish up the wiring. This is what came with the pump itself. And we're gonna go ahead and just replace it with what came in the kit. We've got this plug coming off the pump right here. Plugs in right there, and then this goes right back up in here to the stock location, and then you just put uh, the level right in there, or I guess the float. All right, boys, this is the best angle I could get under here. Um, I believe this is the charcoal canister for the fuel. Uh, just go ahead, remove the clips. Um, this one, the middle one, you just push in on and pull out. Same goes for this. There's these little prongs on the inside that when you push they'll lift up over that and then same with here there's like a little u clip that's in there um, i've got it over on the table that was kind of a pain to get out and then you just need a 13 millimeter right here so i'm gonna go ahead and get this out of the way so i can get that new fuel line in and there's the fuel line right there that we needed to get to i already went ahead and disconnected it you just push in on these tabs here on the back side and then pull this free. Now, even though I purged it, uh, still fuel came out, so be prepared for that. Uh, I was not, and I got a nice little bath. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this disconnected and then try and fish it out, and then we can run the new one in. I got the old fuel line out. Um, just be careful, all you have to do is literally just pull on it um, from the cab side underneath where this fitting is. Um, just pull it out. Be careful because there will be fuel in it. As you guys can see though, the new line that I have right here is a bit longer. So thankfully the kit came with this coupler here and I'm going to cut it to the size that I need it and then they literally just slip in right there. This is designed for fuel. It's not an airline or anything. It's actually meant for fuel. So I'm going to push the line in and then you just pull back on it a little bit and it keeps it in there. They've got little rubber gaskets in there. So I'm going to go ahead and get that cut to size and then put in the truck. I just went ahead and cut it to length outside of the truck. I figured it'd be much easier. And then I put the coupler closest to this end so I can keep an eye on it just in case it starts leaking or anything. That way I know if that's it or not. Um, or if I get a pressure or a drop in fuel pressure. These are actually really simple. Uh, you just literally press it in. I did this side first just so I could take a flashlight and look in and make sure it made it to the gasket. There's little gaskets right here. And then once you press it in, you just pull out on it and there's little prongs in there that'll hold it into place and these will pop out into place and you're good to go. I went ahead and wrapped some tape around the end of it. That way I don't get a bunch of dirt in the line when I run it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get that installed right now. Um, we'll drop the new fuel pump in and see if she'll fire off. I've got the new O-ring gasket sitting there in place. Now it's time to install the pump. All right, I'm gonna get everything set into place. As I checked for leaks, um, so far nothing. Now I'm gonna go ahead and try and fire up. Well, she's 
running. So far, so good, no leaks. All right, boys, I'm gonna go ahead and call that a win. Uh, there's no leaks, it fired right up. Let it run for a while, and there's still no leaks, so that's a, that's a huge plus. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and come back probably tomorrow or finish up tonight and get the bed on, get the wheels and tires on and all that. But uh, we'll have to find out next week if it fixes our problem or not. Now with that 450 uh, Walbro pump, I don't know if you're gonna need a tune or not, so you'd wanna double check. Um, I'm gonna have Tony tune it anyway because I wanna be able to get everything situated and then we can finally get to the dyno. So fingers crossed that this fixes it. Um, I hope you guys learned something. If you guys have questions, always put them below or message me on Instagram. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great night.